he's cool and he's neat, it's Michael. Yeah, Michael. Dancing on air, this dog can't compare, it's Michael. Yeah, Michael. There's an outfit called Thriller, it's no fright. Then there's Billy Jean and Beat It, looking just right. And three of the outfits, they're all out of sight. Looks so much like Michael from head to toe. Put the mic in his hand and he'll steal the show. I love you, Michael Jackson. The Michael Jackson doll, new from LJN. What's up guys, it's your boy Hayden Huan back in Nubia and today if you saw that intro I've got the ultimate Michael Jackson superstar of the 80s rare vintage doll. Now, what I've got in my hand is a genuine 1984 Michael Jackson doll in which it's a rare collector's piece if you're looking for one. Now, these toys were made by LJN Toys in 1984 under the Superstar of the 80s Michael Jackson line. And the cool thing is that these are Michael Jackson licensed items, meaning that they're not reproductions. These are kind of like the Barbie doll era style of dolls in which it has a basic figure doll shape and it stands at 11 and a half inches tall. Now, if we look at this figure, as you can see that I've customized the outfit to kind of like a Thriller Live version, I suppose. It's got the Thriller jacket, a white t-shirt, a gold belt, and the Billie Jean pants with the socks and the loafers. Similar to what I wore in the Thriller Halloween dance video, actually. And I've got the white sequence glove, a microphone and the sunglasses on MJ. So how I got these dolls is that actually this was a Gumtree find. Now Gumtree is kind of like a Australian version of Facebook Marketplace and I saw this doll with actually just almost all of the jackets and outfits in here all up for only 40 bucks. Now that is a steal. And what I'm going to do over the course of the video is that I'm going to actually show overlay of this MJ doll in the different outfits and basically more close-ups and detail of what the figure looks like. So yeah, I thought 40 bucks, it's probably a good investment, quote unquote. That's the lie I keep on telling myself. But you know, for a genuine 80s article with, you know, all the outfits and it's in pretty good condition, I think 40 bucks is worth it. I'm a huge collector of Michael Jackson figures as well. I've got the Smooth Criminal and I've also got some various pop vinyl figures. And yes, with my Michael Jackson collection, I love collecting figures as well as rare stuff and that this is a pretty cool display piece for my collection. So the layout of this video is that I'm actually going to show this doll as is as I'm talking to you, but as I'm explaining with more details and more information, I'll, I'll edit in some B-roll overlay to show you more details and the alternate outfits that came with the $40 bundle. But before we continue on to this video, I'd like to thank our channel sponsor, which is Trident Store. If you use the offer code Hunten, you can get 10% off your purchase. Links will be down in the description below. Trident Store offers a lot of Michael Jackson items and merchandises at affordable prices. As you can see on my channel, I've been a huge supporter of Trident Store and I've actually bought most of the stuff with my own money. I highly recommend it. Links will be down in the description below. Remember, you can use Hun 10 off your purchase. Now, starting off with the figure, it's actually quite a basic figure. It's basically got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, actually, nine points of articulation, which is pretty cool. It's not like your Hasbro three and three quarter inch figures where it's only just the head, arms, and then the legs. This actually has a lot of detail regarding the point of action to the figure. You can see that the head moves from left and right. The arms move, but sadly, the arm posing is in a fixed position. So you can basically just move up and down. And like similar to Barbie dolls, that when you want to put clothes on, it's actually quite flexible when you can kind of bend it here and there, but not too much, otherwise you're gonna break it. But with the arms, with its limited articulation, you can only just do like a waving pose or kind of like a singing pose. But I wish it came with interchangeable parts, kind of like the Smooth Criminal doll, which I have reviewed before. But for a figure from the 1980s that I think that was way advanced for its time, and that this is actually a pretty good faithful recreation of Michael Jackson for that time and with the technology they use for toys. So the arms can also, you know, go a whole 360, but I like to just make it look like a natural pose or sometimes just him standing neutral. I've actually forgot to mention that you can actually move the hips from left and right here. And with the legs, it's actually pretty good in terms of articulation where you can actually do a, kind of like a full 180 as well as the knees can bend, but not the toes. So I suppose that this is the full flexibility of the figure with the clothes, but like I totally understand because I don't want to stretch the clothing because they're actually meticulously made. Obviously this, is, this isn't a Michael Jackson pose and that uh, I'm not going to display this on my shelf like this. It's probably going to be post stand up for most of the time, but this is kind of like the limitations of how you can pose it if you want to pose it like this. 
So enough about the points of articulation, let's get into the details. So as you can see on the face, I've actually put sunglasses, but you can actually have the figure with sunglasses on or sunglasses off. So the sunglasses is a wraparound page in which it's kind of like a goggles in a sense, which I really think it's really cool because, you know, if you were to lose it, you'll actually have a hard time because it actually has a snug fit on the figure and the glasses are actually quite durable when it's on the figure. And as you can see, it just snaps on just like that. Or you can kind of just scoop it up and it just basically appears like this little halo piece but I usually tend to keep it on to the figure because I don't want to risk losing it. The face sculpt for 984 is surprisingly accurate I mean it just looks like MJ I think the only downside is just the hair I wish it was just much more bigger but the face sculpt is very good. Now the figure I bought the face isn't really that great because of its wear and tear you can see there's a bit of yellowing on his eyes and on his cheeks looks like he has jaundice but overall the detail is really good I mean the eyebrows kind of a bit shaved off but you can just put some permanent marker or, or I can paint or print eyebrow detailing on it but uh, overall it's a really good job I mean the nose is pretty good like oh my goodness like it's basically the same shape and the lips, they got it pretty well. Overall, it's very good and they've managed to put on the eyeliner very well. So with the figure all in all, as you can see at the back, it has 1984 MJJ Productions at the back and just the copyright information. And you can see the joints much more clearly between the legs and the arms. So this is literally just a Barbie doll, but with the skin of Michael Jackson. So like I said, the doll comes with a microphone piece, which is actually quite loose when it comes to the arms. So I wouldn't recommend it putting in random poses because it's gonna fall off. I think just to be safe, just put the microphone in a neutral position on the figure, but it's just basically a loose cylinder piece and on the other side it is a right hand glove so with the glove it's the same material as the socks of the figure and the glove is a bit stubborn to put on you actually really have to stretch the material and I and I feel a bit anxious stretching it because it is a genuine 80s vintage glove and it's literally a one-of-a-kind kind of thing where if I break one then it's essentially broken or I have to find another piece but the glove only comes in the right hand and that it's a very snug fit. I know it's not accurate to Thriller in which he didn't wear the white glove, but I simply don't want to lose the white glove. So with the figure, how you actually put on the clothes is actually through a lot of Velcro fastening. So you can see in each of the clothing in respective positions, you can see the Velcro fastening with the shirts that are actually put on at the back. So there's like a seam and then there's a Velcro in which, you know, it kind of feels weird how you're just putting on a shirt backwards but that's how you ensure a tight fit on the doll. So with changing the clothes, it's not as easy as you think. And when I'm displaying this, I'll just stick with the one outfit and then I'll just put the other outfits in the bag. Yeah, it's a bit cumbersome to change it, but if I had a lot of dolls which didn't have any clothes, then I would just basically just have one of each doll with the different respective outfits. So this doll comes with three type of pants. It comes with the Billie Jean trousers, the red leather pants from Thriller, and just a neutral black jeans. And they fit really well, but I prefer the Billie Jean pants. And this is what the socks and shoes look like. The socks, like I said, it's the same material as the glove. And the black shoes, they don't have much detailing to them. They're literally just, you know, those basic loafers that you actually slip on. And every time you actually have to take off the pants, you'll have to take off the socks and the loafers. So it's a bit cumbersome, but um, I like to keep it as is. And the bottom of the shoes, they don't have anything, but they have little peg holes so you can put them on the stand. So this is my outfit of choice when I'm displaying the doll. Yes, it's not like a proper Michael Jackson outfit. This is kind of like the live version of Thriller. And it's kind of like my style as well, in a sense where, you know, I do wear the Thriller jacket, I wear the white shirt, have the gold belt, as well as the Billie Jean pants, socks and shoes. But here are what other outfits look like. So the other outfits include, I've actually got another Thriller outfit that includes the jacket and the pants. I got another pair of red pants here. So with the outfits, this is what I've got at the moment. So as you can see that the doll is wearing the Thriller jacket. So I've got another original Thriller jacket. I've got another set of red pants. This is what the AMA Grammys blue jacket looks like. It's pretty cool. I love the detailing on it. And I've also got the shoulder sash on it. That is a tongue twister. This is like my fifth time actually talking and that the quality is really good. This is literally, you know, like Michael Jackson costumes when it's all shrunk down and all that stuff. You know, as you can see, there's like meticulous stitching. I actually had to repair the blue jackets because the seams were split. So I just basically had some super glue and just mended that up. Next one we've got is kind of like this human nature vest and white shirt with a bow tie. It's meant to look like this. I think it's a human nature cover. 
And I've also got this black sequin shirt that has, you know, some gold iridescence as well as a gold collar. I don't know which gold costume this is meant to represent. Maybe the Billie Jean Motown 25 shirt. But um, yeah, this is what it looks like. I've got dozens of pair of shoes, socks and gloves. If you're watching this and you actually don't have any clothes for your Michael Jackson doll, hit me up. I might be able to give it to you. If you don't live in Australia, it might be a bit of a problem, which I have to pay, you know, like 80 bucks to send it to your place but um just let me know if not i'll just put it on ebay and with these dolls they actually came with different costume packs in which similar to what i have you can actually just buy the clothes and not the doll and that similar to a barbie you can actually dress up your michael jackson doll so as you can see the detail of the accessories are actually quite meticulous when it comes to the scale even the thriller jacket they've actually nailed it to a t and with the clothing materials that they've used it literally looks like they've got the original Michael Jackson jacket and they've just shrunk it down for a miniature Michael Jackson. So this figure, what I've got, it kind of reminds me of the Smooth Criminal doll that I actually have as well as it reminds me of those really high-end kind of Hot Toys style of figurines where the face cop actually looks really cool and it has the details of the clothing that it's included with. Look, I really highly recommend getting one of these dolls when you still can, even for an affordable price. I've seen a doll on, I think, eBay that goes for like $100, $125, and it's just the thriller look. You know, I suggest going on Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree, or just eBay, or secondhand item stores, whether it be in person or online, to get yourself a good bargain, because apparently that for resale value, these can go for $300. But to be honest, I am probably not going to sell this because this is really cool. I really love it. Has really detailed costumes and all of that stuff. Has a really good articulation. And I think that this is a really cool display piece for my Michael Jackson shelf. But yeah, with the amount of socks, shoes and gloves that I have, if you're missing any clothing parts, just, you know, let me know through an email or Instagram direct message. And hopefully if you live in Australia, it won't be a problem of me sending it out to you. But if you live overseas, that it could be a bit of problems due to customs and, you know, the amount of postage to actually ship just a little thing to your country. I know that some doll collectors or just people on eBay are just selling the loose clothing by itself. So maybe that could be a bit cheaper. But overall, this is my review and about of the 1984 Michael Jackson doll. Never thought I'd be reviewing this in my life. This literally feels like a Barbie doll. But, you know, hope you enjoy, like, and subscribe. To the next video. Catch you around. Look, seriously, I'm not joking. I've got, like, too many shoes and socks and stuff. Like, those are the clothing. That's the MJ doll. But, you know... Surely, look at the amount of shoes. Surely this doll, you know, literally just wears one pair of shoes.